Good day. My name is Bodo Kanrindok and I'm going to take you through how to solve the first order PD of the form of this form or of this form. So remember that we've learned how to solve a first order PD of this form and a transport equation of this fault. So today we are considering when we have a non-homogeneous term f of t. So remember with these ones, our right hand side is equal to zero. So what if we have a right hand side which is not equal to zero? So we focus on learning how to solve this particular sorry not zero this particular transport equation All right one thing i want you to know is that remember that if you have this transport equation sorry when you have this first order pd you can decide to make it look something similar to the transport equation if you divide through by say a so really you're going to get something like ux plus b over a u y equals f of t a so you can see your b over a is equal to c and you see you get something similar to the transport equation so that means if you can solve the transport equation with a non-homogeneous term then we can apply it to solve something of this form when you have this ut plus u x is equal to f of t this is how we solve it. So remember that u is a function of x and t. So we apply chain rule on this u and we get the u dt equals del u del x times dx dt. And we get del u del t dot dt dt. So when you have something like this, we can still simplify this further to get ux dot dx dt then plus u of t. Remember dt dt will give us 1. And this can still be simplified further to get du dt be equal to u subscript t plus dx dt u subscript x. So you see when you consider this to the transport equation we stated earlier that's ut plus cux equals f of t when we compare them then it means that dx dt is equal to c and du dt is equal to f of t so in solving this particular transport equation ut plus cux equals f of t we characterize this PD with these two first order ordinary differential equations and we solve them to get our solution to the transport equation with a non-homogeneous term. So let's explain this concept with an example. So an example is let's solve this transport equation. With initial condition all right so when you start solving this remember for this to be a transport equation then you have to make sure that the coefficient of this ut is one so solution the first thing we have to do is to divide through by 2. So when we divide through by 2, so when we divide through by 2, we are going to get ut plus 3 over 2 ux equals 1 over 8 sine x. So remember that now this is of the form ut plus c u x equals f of t where our c is 3 over 2 and our f of t is 1 over 8 sine x 
So when we get this, then now we can get our two ODs to characterize this particular PD. And it will be the X the T is equal to C bar C here is three over two. And we will have the U the T be equal to one over eight sine X of T. Remember x stands for distance and distance is always or displacement which is always a function of t so you write x of t instead of just x so now we have these two ordinary differential equation characterizing and um, sorry yeah characterizing our pd so what we do is that we solve these two ordinary differential equations so when you solve the first one we get dx dt equals 3 over 2 which gives us dx equals 3 over 2 dt. So when you solve this, we get x equals 3 over 2 t plus a certain constant. Let's call it x0. So when you make x0 the subject, we get x0 equals s minus 3 over 2 t. So this is the solution to the first characteristic equation. And the second one is du dt equals 1 over 8 sine x and x is a function of t so we have to look for u so that means in looking for u we have the u be equal to 1 over 8 sine x of t dt so to get u we integrate both sides then this will give us u which happens to be a function of x and t will be equal to to an integrating We can decide to bring the scalar out. So when you're integrating this function, remember that when you're integrating something like integral of sine 4x dx, what we do is that we differentiate what is here. So when you differentiate what is here, we get 4. And we integrate our sine 4x to get minus cos 4x. And we divide it by this 4 plus c since the definite indefinite integral so our u x of t when you integrate it you're going to get minus 1 over 8 cos x t all over x prime of t remember so plus a certain constant let's call it a but remember that x prime of t is the same as dx dt which is giving us 3 over 2 i hope you remember dx dt is equal to c and this was our c 3 over 2 so that means you will get u of x t because negative 1 over 8 cos s t plus a all over 3 over 2 so when you find negative 1 over 8 divided by 3 over 2 we are going to end up with minus 1 over 12, then cos s of t plus a. So this particular equation becomes the general solution to the first order transport equation we solved with the non-homogeneous term. But remember we were given initial condition, and our initial condition was u of x0 was equal to 1 plus e x over 1 plus e 4 x so we have to put in our initial condition to get our particular solution so when you put in our initial condition here we are going to get u of x 0 be equal to negative 1 over 12 cos s of 0 plus a which will be equal to 1 plus e x all over 1 plus e 4 x not not and mostly the reason why we say not is that you know x is a function of time and the time component here which is the t is zero so 
we are going to get x of 0 and we want to make it s naught since it's the same thing so that means our okay, our e here will be giving us 1 plus e x naught then over 1 plus e 4 x naught so you can decide to bring this one because I'm making e the subject so we get plus 1 over 12 cos x naught so this is our constant e so when you put this e into our general solution then we get u of x t will be equal to so we are going to have negative 1 over 12 cos x then plus 1 over 12 cos x naught then plus 1 plus e x naught all over 1 plus e for x naught remember this is the e we found so we just made substitution but recall that when we solved this first ODE we had x naught to be giving us x minus 3 over 2t so the final thing we are supposed to do is just to make substitution so wherever we find x naught we make the necessary substitution there since s naught is just x minus 3 over 2t that means we are going to end up with the solution x u x of t is equal to minus 1 over 12 cos x then plus 1 over 12 cos s naught but s naught is s minus 3 over 2t then plus 1 plus e x naught but remember x naught is x minus 3 over 2t then over 1 plus e4 times x minus 3 over 2t so this becomes our particular solution to the first order equation we had there or the transport equation with the non-homogeneous term so thank you very much for watching this video